What's up? I'm Matt Guff from TheHouse.com, and I'm here with Jason Henderson from Burton Snowboards. Jason, how you doing today, man? Pretty good. A little warm, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. I'm feeling snow's coming. Right now. Snow's coming. Snow is coming. Snow's um, out there in the mountains. I know. Gosh, we gotta get out there soon. Well, um, thanks for being here. You're gonna walk us through a couple of different boards uh, in the free, uh, all mountain freestyle category. Um, this one is actually a little bit more freestyle than all mountain, but it's great because you can ride it all over the place. This is a board that's been in the line for three, four years. Uh, yeah, we had it mid-season four years ago, but yeah, it's, okay. uh, it's been in the line for a little while now. Um, this is one the of name my, dropper. Yeah, name dropper. One name of dropper. my favorite boards. Um, you know, and, and there's a lot of categories to boards. You hear all mountain, all mountain freestyle. You hear park. I mean, basically, I mean, you can ride any snowboard in any situation. It's just yes. certain ones excel in certain, you know, yeah. certain terrains than others. Yeah. Um, but you know, I've personally ridden this board in knee deep powder, and it works great. Wow. Uh, just because it's you know it's our flat top bend, so it's flat in the middle. Um, you know, early rise. You know, nose and tail. Uh, but it's also extremely soft and flex, so it just it just really planes out, changes directions really flat, you know, really fast. Mm -hmm. um, super fun in the park because it's easy to press. Yeah. Um, but uh, with this Foleo Flex technology is is really what makes this thing tick. So you probably notice, you know, um, on this board you've got these. Uh, they they look like risers, but what they are is they're more spacers uh, than anything. You got these uh, foam dampening pads. Because essentially you have, um, you know, the mounting system, the channel there. It's mm -hmm. got to be a certain depth. Um, but, you know, to make the board ride softer, you have to, you know, thin out the core profile. So if you actually look at this board, is it is really super thin. Yeah. So um, you have, you know, you keep the channel, this, the depth that it has to be. But we just thin out everything else around it. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we put, you know, a heavier gauge of triaxial glass on top. So what that does... Because the board flex is really soft, you know, longitudinally, but that extra, um, that extra stiff uh, tracks glass stiffens it up torsionally. So when you really get this board up to speed, it starts to stiffen up when you're starting to command the torsional flex of the board. Uh -huh. So it's soft, really easy to press, really fun, but once you get it up to speed, I mean, it holds a turn. Like, it rips. It's not just like this real floppy... <laughs> you know, yeah. loose jib stick like you, you see, you know, because typically when you make a board really soft, it doesn't hold an edge at high speeds. Yep, you're right. But it's, it's easier to ride on rails and all that. So this kind of, mm -hmm. you know, this is kind of a step to kind of broaden that spectrum a little bit. Yeah. So. And name dropper, it's a cool name, and the graphic for this year is out of this world. Yeah, killer. The base is cool. Almost kind of medieval looking graphic. Um, yeah. You know, uh, I kind of like the more uh, subdued graphics. It's really cool. Right. So. Cool. But centered base, I mean, it's got everything you need. So. It's fast. And this is your, this is pretty much your daily driver, isn't it? I ride this thing everywhere, yeah. Awesome. I love it. Cool. This and the customs is kind of tough to go wrong, but. Oh, yeah, can't go wrong. And then we have uh, the Easy Living. Yep. Even Easy Living is uh, Danny Davis's board. Yep. Um, I love, I love it for this year because, well, I've always loved it, but I, I love it more than ever because. It has camber. Yep. It has a camber profile. Thank you, Burton. Yep, going Thank back you. to camber. Um, we've always made camber. Well, it's, yes. Most of our team has always ridden camber, especially yes. our, you know, our European and Japanese riders that like. Yep. Um, you know, Danny's always kind of. I mean, he's he's, he's dabbled yes. with flying V here and there, but you know, uh -huh. in recent years, he just when he's competing, he's on camber. Yeah. You know, it's just there's no substitute for it. So it's just like, all right, well, we've got enough flying V, which is great. You know, flying V works. You know, uh, soft snow it does work for a lot of people. Yeah. Um, we decided to bring camera back to this board. Mm -hmm. So, um, all you guys that are kind of, uh, you know, wonder what we did with the Unink series, you know, so, you know, those were some of the best riding boards, you know, one of my favorite boards of all time. Uh, so this would be kind of the closest thing to those on ink boards. Got it. Because now it's back to camber. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of people uh, searching after those old on ink boards, and mm -hmm. I have a feeling uh, uh, Easy Living is kind of becoming that one of those new style boards that people are really searching after. Mm -hmm. The graphics are always spot on. They they tend mm -hmm. to be very music inspired, of course. Well, yeah, and that's that's totally Danny. Danny's huge into music. You know, amazing guitarist. He's in. You know, he's really. That's kind of his his lifestyle. So mm -hmm. uh, working with. Uh, Led Zeppelin on this one, so pretty cool. That's solid. And then the next, the next board we have is a is a great one. It's uh, uh, the Burton Custom Twin. Mm -hmm. uh, it has a new update, I believe. 
Uh, yeah, the custom twin now um, is available in two bends. Uh, okay. it, it was last year, but it was just camber and flying V. Yep. Uh, so now the twin is available. The regular custom twin is now pure pop. Cool. So what pure pop is is they just camber, you know, through the middle of the board, but then it just goes flat, you know, at the contact points. Cool. So okay. it's more on the camber end of the spectrum, but just dialed back a little bit. Uh -huh. Gets those contact points off the snow a little bit. You yep. know, makes the track a little straighter. Mm -hmm. You know, just a little bit easier to ride. So. Yeah, this is the board I rode at Hood. Um, I didn't I didn't bring any gear besides my Almighty's to Hood uh, yeah. this summer, and uh, I rode. I, actually, I shouldn't say I rode this the whole time. I rode this for a majority of the time mm -hmm. that I was at Hood, and it's awesome. Yeah, killer. It's awesome. It's true twin. Um, so you know the the custom series, I guess is you know you get a lot of different bends now. Sure. So you know yeah. you get the regular inline custom that is more of a directional shape, mm -hmm. twin flex, which is you know really versatile. Yep. Um, Still a little bit more on the mid-wide end of the chassis, sure. Um, where the twins, you know, true twin tip, uh, slightly narrower. Uh huh. So um, and then also available in pure pop. Yeah. So you got um, you know definitely a lot of different versions, and then the true twin also has the um, the off-axis core profiling. At 15 degrees. 15 and 15. Yeah. Where yeah. the um, what that is is the squeeze box where it's thinner under your foot, and you got the raised sections on the outside of the bindings. Instead of it just going straight across, um, we have it shifted at 15 and negative 15, just to match up with the, the angles of your um, you know, your bindings. Just yeah. a much smoother overall flex. Yeah, and That's uh, great. last year uh, you guys celebrated how many years with the custom? Was it 20? That was 20. Yep. So, so this is 21. Yeah. Wow. That's custom, great. Yeah, the custom's old enough to drink. It is. Get it into bars. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And actually, Burton is celebrating 40 years in, in yep. business. Yeah. 1977. Yeah. Good job. 2017 now. Yeah. yeah. I, I like the new, uh, the, the newer, one of the newer slogans on. 40 years forward. 40 years forward. Mm -hmm. That's cool. You, you can look back if you know where you're going. What is it? Uh, it's like if you, you can look back, but you always want to be looking forward. Yeah. Something like 40 that. 40 years forward. Yeah. So, what do you think the the, the twenty fifty seven stuff is going to look like? Probably won't even be able to recognize it. Probably not. Just imagine if you showed this to Jake back in seventy seven in his garage. He'd be like, "What the hell's that thing?" Right, I bet. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, I mean, the sport has definitely uh, come a long way. Yep, custom and has it has great graphic too. Yep, it's cool. It's Just cool. Real clean, tasteful uh, model there, kind of doing her thing. That's right. Cool. And then uh, lastly, uh, uh, a really big kind of highlighted board for this season is going to be the the Custom X, which is extremely lightweight, Flying V. And the Custom X has only been in camber in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the first season with Flying V. Uh, what's the story with the Custom X Flying V so, for the year? Yeah, you get up into the Custom X level construction, um, you know, you're getting our... Um, lightest weight core you're getting you know uh, carbon highlights and all that it is one of our lightest boards and it's yeah. always been one of our stiffest most aggressive riding boards mm -hmm. um, you know especially in camber but um, there is a lot of you know feedback from a lot of um, you know riders and stuff you know from around the world is mm -hmm. like you know it'd be it'd be good to have a nice stiff aggressive um, hybrid bend mm -hmm. so and that's kind of what we've done here so we just yeah. uh, went to the flying V bend so you know rockered through the middle Mm -hmm. uh, and then you got your camber zones just under the binding area, and then it rockers up past the binding area. Yep. So it doesn't go to the edge where it gets a little catchy. Um, you just got the camber zones underneath to give you that edge bite. But still, you know, a little more forgiving, but, um, you know, floats well because it is that, you know, it is that, uh, that flying V-bend. So. Yeah. Cool. How, how do you like the feel of the board when, when you ride it? The flying V versus the yep. camber? Uh -huh. Well, it's just like any other board. It's, you know, it's a little bit looser. It's a different feel, but... It's with it being a stiffer uh, construction and stiffer flex pattern, it's like it tips in easier because of the bend. But sure. once it's there, it's there. Yeah, that makes sense. So, um, you know, versus, you know, like when you get, you know, to get a board to turn, you got to get on the edge, you got to get your weight into it, get that board to flex to make it to turn. You know, with yeah. camber, you know, you got to get it up on edge, flex, it starts to turn, but then, you know, you got to put your weight into it. Yeah. Um, which once it's there, you know, you got. You know, definitely a lot more power, a lot more stability over yeah. you know larger surface area. But mm -hmm. with the flying, you know, with anything that's rocker, you know, or a hybrid, you know, style bend, it's already halfway in that flex position, so it turns in easy. 
Yeah. But one thing I noticed with the stiffer flex, it's there. You know, once you get it there, it holds it. Got you it. know, because a lot of rocker boards can be really loose. Like you get them there, and then they just, you know, they're a little, little bit looser yep. feel. Mm -hmm. So with this, you're going to get that edge hold because it is a it is a stiffer flexing board. Yeah. But you're still going to get, um, you know, the benefits, the ease of turn, the you know, the better float and you know, and pow and things sure. like that. So. Cool. Um, you know, this is definitely going to be a, a killer board for you know those riders that are. Um, you know, riding out west or, you know, things like that, so. Yeah. Well, Killer, well, thanks for watching, walking us through those mm -hmm. online freestyle boards. We just walked through the, the, the Custom X, uh, the Custom Twin, uh, Easy Living, and, of course, the Name Dropper. Name Dropper, again, a little bit more of a, a freestyle-oriented board, but you can take it right. anywhere. It, it's a true 20, right? Yeah. Anywhere. Yeah, and that's, <laughs> that's a cool, you know, a lot of people ask questions on YouTube. Can I ride this board in this condition? Yes, the answer is always going to be yes. Will it excel in that kind of condition? Uh, maybe, maybe not. Um, but for the most part, if you buy one board, you can take it anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, the biggest thing is, of course, make sure you have fun with it. Jason, thanks for your time, buddy. Cool. No problem. Love and, to be here. Yes, thank you. And thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and uh, ask any questions you have. Thanks so much.